Shocking, disturbing, downright evil. That's how Florida authorities have described some school threats made by students. And new tonight, after spending months reading through hundreds of court documents detailing students' threats, I-Team investigator Katie Legrone is sharing what she found and how even so-called jokes are now landing kids in jail. Since the Parkland shooting, primary concern is the safety of the students. Student threats against schools have led to press conferences. There's going to be zero tolerance. And headlines. Two girls armed with knives. But we found far more frequent are the threats you don't hear about. Do you regret making that comment? But land kids in Florida courtrooms like this one. Anytime they hear this at school, they're going to react to it. Thank you for being here, sir. This one. I'm concerned with this obsession and fascination you have with guns. And this one. Do you have any firearms? In fact, the number of cases involving kids who threaten to shoot and kill has taken even the most seasoned judges off guard. The cases that come before us will shock you. According to the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice, last year, 779 kids were criminally charged with school threat-related offenses, a nearly 25% increase from three years earlier. Using court documents filed under Florida's red flag law, we found kids threatening to shoot and kill other students, teachers, and schools. One 14-year-old Pinellas boy asked a friend while on school grounds after hours, who should I start killing first, the blacks, the whites, or the Hispanics. The boy was also Baker acted. In St. Lucie County, police said a student was overheard telling a classmate he had a list of students he wanted to kill. If you want to live, don't come to school next week. The 14-year-old claimed he was only joking. He also didn't have a gun. In the end, in most student threat cases we reviewed, police determined there were no guns. The sheriff's department has already told me that you have no firearms. Same with these 14-year-old Central Florida students who this summer were arrested and charged after daring each other to put a school shooting note they found in a neighbor's mailbox. Have you ever possessed a gun? And this 17-year-old who appeared in court a few weeks ago after his teacher said he was flipping the bird in front of a mirror. When she told him to stop, he allegedly said, I'll fill your body with bullets. Did you think for a second this might get me in trouble? The student claimed he was singing a song. His mom, who we're not identifying to protect her son, agrees with the punishment, a 12-month gun ban. That's a good thing. I'm not mad. You got to follow the rules. Across the state, judges aren't taking any chances. There's zero tolerance. These threats have to be taken seriously. Zero tolerance does not prevent shootings. Dr. Dewey Cornell, a forensic clinical psychologist and education professor at the University of Virginia, argues zero tolerance policies don't work for kids. There's a lot of concern in the threat assessment community that zero tolerance can actually escalate a problem, escalate a conflict. Instead, Dr. Cornell, whose own threat assessment guidelines are now being used by thousands of schools across at least 30 states, including right here in Florida, advises schools and police respond to kids who make threats less with court action and more with counseling. In a very small number of cases, less than 1% of cases, do we need to arrest and take legal action against children for making threats? But in a state is still raw from its deadliest school shooting in recent history, decoding if a student's threat is real remains a challenge we're all still figuring out. We've got kids that want to try to emulate a mass shooter. You know, what are we supposed to do with that? And then you go and they find out they don't have a firearm. But what if they did? The Florida Sheriff's Association now pushing for a bill that would make any spoken school threat by a student a crime. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.